Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Asad Yaqub and I am from Lahore, Pakistan. Well guys, today is 12th June and tomorrow is 13th June, Thursday 2019. Uh, you know, we say it's a history making day for you. Uh, those who are planning to take their IELTS test, it's actually a very important day. So as usual here I am with the breaking news and the breaking news is I am going to send you to take your IELTS test. Okay guys, I mean uh, I just want to start with one thing, you know all of us we've got hopes in life, we've got uh, certain goals, certain targets in life and then there is one thing we call it the key uh, stone activity or key stone goal. There is one big goal and then small goals are associated with that actually with that goal actually. Now what is that? For example, you guys want to go abroad for higher education because 13 June is only academic IELTS. Some of you want to study abroad, some of you want to do PhD, some of you are doctors and you want to go for PLEB, some of you are nurses and you, can't, you want to go ahead. You want to excel in your uh, field and all that. So, I mean, IELTS is an important link uh, in the chain of your success, right? I mean, this link should be there. Rather, I would say your uh, international success or your success that is for international opportunities that starts with IELTS. So, get ready for that. Tomorrow is a good day. It's going to be a very hot day, I know in India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Nepal and all these countries, it's going to be hot. June is a hot month and you should be hot to take your test as well. As usual, everything is going to be fantastic. You have done some preparation and if it is just like today, 12th June, you are watching this video, just uh, take a couple of reading tests or I would say otherwise you should revise the listening test which you have done already play the audio revise this that test reading test which you've done already just revise that okay question number one answer is conflict where is the answer given okay it's in the first paragraph this and that and all that just do something light like that or you can take a couple of listening tests as well you have done a lot of preparation now let me tell you the purpose of making this video is to prepare you for the exam first you prepared for exam now i want to prepare you to take the exam exam skills are very 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 important i've noticed this thing many students they prepare well but they fail to perform well in the examination when they practice at home they perform very well but when they uh, per, when, when they have to perform in the examination hall they underperform and they never reach their full potential in the examination hall during practice they reach their full potential but when they go to take the exam due to certain unknown reasons they don't reach their potential the first thing is you need to take IELTS by the horn by the horn you know we take the bull by the horn by the way so you need to take IELTS by horn by the horn means don't be afraid to take this test don't worry just think about any mock test which you took in your academy or at home just think about a listening test which you did at home in the same way you got to perform over there as well let me tell you we make or break our own feelings and emotions and you know the thing doesn't mean that's the meaning we give to the things now for example two students are going to the examination hall one has the test and second is just going to drop that student so the one who has the test is thinking what will happen test is gonna be easy or difficult how will i perform what will be my band after that will i be able to achieve and the one who is going to drop him he is feeling relaxed and he's enjoying that i've got to drop him he's got his test there so you know both are going to the same places but their meanings are different in the same way do not give uh, negativity any positive meaning and make it become your reality it's just a test I mean the environment which they're going to provide you in IELTS test that environment is going to be better than your home or academy environment 
you will be relaxed, you will be comfortable. There will be pin drop silence over there. There will not be any noise at all. So in that environment, you are uh, bound to perform well. So don't worry about that. You reach there, uh, the reporting time, then show them your documents and all that. Look around if it is your first attempt. So look around and just chill inside. There should be a song that you are relaxed. And then the listening test is going to start. Set the headphones accordingly because you know sometimes any movement, any unusual movement may, uh, may divert uh, the signals of uh, infrared headphones. So you need to adjust the volume and all that. Read the questions very, very carefully and do not feel nervous. Do not feel negative. I tell you, it depends on you. Now, for example, this time you're sitting on the chair, you are relaxed. Sometimes it is better to be oblivious. Sometimes it is better to be unknown about the things. Now, for example, you're sitting on the chair and under your chair, there is a cobra. Don't look down. Okay, don't look down. But you don't know. You are unaware. You will feel relaxed. You will be fine. But if you know there is a cobra under your chair, you will spring out of that chair. You will jump out of that chair. So sometimes we tend to think about IELTS exam as a cobra ready to sting us when we go there. And those students are always like this. You will see some students in IELTS test. They'll be like this. They'll be like that. From here, cobra is going to attack. From there, cobra is going to attack. I don't want you to be a chicken. I want you to be a lion. Okay, you should be a lion to take this test. Believe me, guys, it is your performance on the test day that is extremely important. You prepared very well. That's very good. You performed very well during the practice sessions. Very good. But now is the real performance. And over here, if you become a chicken, if you're going to take examination as a cobra and you're going to be afraid of that, Believe me, you will not be able to get your required band and IELTS is the key. It's a master key which is going to open many doors one by one. Once I remember I was small, my younger brother, he found a key. That was the key of a Suzuki car. I don't know from where he found that key. And then in our street, one of our neighbors, he had his car and uh, we just tried to check the key and we put the key, we inserted the key in the keyhole. We opened and believe me, the car opened. We were so surprised. Then he tried the same key with another Suzuki car and even that opened. And we were like, oh my God, it means this is the master key. Master key can open any door. It fits any hole. It lets you go anywhere. So in the same way, IELTS is going to be your master key. It is going to open the door of embassy, door of visa, door of that country where you are planning to go. So please give your 100%. Don't be a chicken. Do not be afraid of anything negative. Perform well. Once listening test starts, you will be comfortable. Section 1 is going to be very easy. I'm telling you, section 1 is going to be very easy. One word only, okay? Write down all the answers, section 2, whether it is fill in the blanks, multiple choice, match, matching, right? Or uh, there is another one, map. You should do that all and use your best knowledge. Be in your best mood. You know, sometimes we say today is a very good day. I'm feeling very active. We make that day. Actually, it's not that. I mean, just imagine you've got a date with someone. For example, I'm just telling, giving you one example. You've got a date with someone a night before you will not be able to sleep well. You'll be very excited in the morning when you wake up. I mean, you'll wake up even before the alarm. You'll wear your favorite dress favorite perfume, favorite hairstyle and all that stuff because you've got a date, right? In the same way, when you have IELTS test, you've got a date with IELTS. Wow, wow, a date with IELTS. So if you take it as a date that I'm going on a date with IELTS, I've got my IELTS test and I've got a date with IELTS. Believe me, feelings will be fine. And remember, just always think about the end result. I mean, IELTS is the first step, right? And then there are many things more afterwards. So think about the end result. I know a student who's got Canadian map in his wallet. 
I know a student who's got few Canadian dollars and Canadian coins in his wallet all the time. I know a student who's got the picture of Prime Minister of Canada, right? I've got a student who's got the wallpapers of Canada uh, in his laptop. So, I mean, they are crazy. They love their goal. That is why they should be, I mean, your goal should be seen all around you. You should be able to see your goal all around. Now, if you are only stuck with IELTS, you say, I want to do IELTS, I want to do IELTS, I want to do IELTS, I want to do IELTS. Why the hell do you want to do IELTS? That is because you want to go to Canada, Australia, England, New Zealand, and any other foreign country, even America. Right? So if you keep America in mind and IELTS the way to reach there, you will love to do IELTS. One of the students from Indian Punjab, she asked me this question the other day, Sir, IELTS reading is so boring. What should I do? Mera man nahi lagda. IELTS reading de which mera man nahi honda. I don't take interest. I don't feel like doing IELTS reading test. Because when she looks at IELTS reading, she only sees the words. She doesn't see the people of the country where she's planning to go. I mean, if you see Australian beaches, if you see Niagara Falls, if you see beautiful beaches of New Zealand, then definitely you will take full interest. You know, if you like me, like my dog, that is a popular thing. And the girls usually say that if you like me, like my dog means if you love me, love my dog, right? So if you love Canada, right? IELTS is a Canadian dog. <laughs> IELTS is Canada's dog, right? It is going to take you there. So you should love uh, this dog as well. All right. I'm sorry about that. So if you love me, love my dog, you love Canada, you should love the dog of Canada. That is this IELTS. So that's why take full interest and believe me, whatever you guys do in life, do it with great love, with care, right? And try to find happiness in everything. Sometimes things don't give you pleasure. Things don't give you happiness. You get something out of that. I mean, the same thing can make some people cry and the same thing can make some people happy. It is your lens. The lens you have. Change your lens and change your life. So listening test is going to be fine. Uh, there can be little difficulty somewhere in listening, but you're going to cope up. And during the test, never have the feeling of that, okay, I give up and enough and I can't do it. Oh God, test is difficult. I'm killed and not like that. Okay. Then reading will start about reading guys. I want to say one thing. I'll make a separate video on that as well. When you do section one, in section one, first of all, identify from the questions uh, from the, what, what, what do you say? They've given the questions, right? In sets, from the sets, identify which set is easier for me. Uh, the other day I was solving the test uh, in section one. The first question was which paragraph contains the following information. For that, you need in-depth knowledge. That is confusing. In the same section, the third set of questions that was uh, fill in the blanks. The second set of questions that was true, false, not given. So I had to do that test. What did I do? I started with third section, fill in the blanks. Then I came back to second section, uh, second set of questions, sorry, third set of questions, not section. Then I came back to second set of questions, true, false, not given. And finally, I came to the first set of questions. So in one section, there are around three sets of questions and you can start with any according to your understanding. If you think the third set of questions is easier for you to solve, always start with the easy one and then you can come back to any and all that, right? So this is how reading is going to go on. A couple of questions might irritate you, but don't worry. Do not leave any blank answer and always think about Canada. I remember once long time ago, one of my cousins, he wanted to take me to Canada. 
I was a student that time. And believe me, when, when he wanted to take me to Canada, I started imagining life in Canada. And I started thinking, oh, in this house, now I'm for a couple of months. He's going to take me to Canada. And I started, and even when I used to shower, I used to use my favorite shampoo, head and shoulder. At the same time, the aroma of head and shoulder. And I used to link it with Canada. And then my dreams about Canada, my life in Canada and all that. So that gave me a lot of pleasure. Even if I was eating, I was thinking, okay, one day I will be eating in Canada and all that stuff. But he didn't take me there. Okay, <laughs> yeah. So, but anyways, this is how you guys should be. I mean, if somebody falls in love, he's always happy. He's always smiling. He always uh, has the internal reason to smile, to be happy, to laugh because he is thinking about his beloved. IELTS is the way to take you to your beloved country and that is Canada, Australia, New Zealand, all that. So please don't take it easy. Be happy. Keep IELTS in mind. Love me. Love my dog. Everything is going to be fine. And after the reading test, when they start with writing, first of all, read writing task 2. Read it and say, Acha, opinion essay. Or, aha, advantages outweigh disadvantages. Aap unko ye bhi aata hai. Acha, wa, ji, wa, moj lag gai. Something like that. Whatever the topic is, you should read the topic. And then just write that. This is the type of essay and this is what I'm going to write. Then come to task one. Observe task one clearly because it's going to be a report you guys are going to write. Observe task one. What is the task? What is most important? Least important? Second most important? Body of report, introduction, overview and then two to three paragraphs in the body and all that. Do it all confidently and you know write it gracefully. Write task one, task two both gracefully and all that. Once it is done, chill, relax, come out of the examination room and wait for the result happily, positively, right, hopefully and all that. So guys, uh, I mean this 13th June IELTS test is going to be a life changing opportunity for many of you. I mean it. I mean it. Now the thing is whether you are going to be the part of those many who are going to take this IELTS test as an opportunity to change their life or you are going to be the part of those few who are going to take IELTS again and again and again and finally give up and in their old age they are going to tell somebody I also took IELTS a couple of times but I was unable to do that. Up to you. You want to make your old age comfortable, relaxed, easy in a foreign country or you want to go on here in your native country. Your every decision, believe me, the children who are going to be born in your family, if you struggle today, even they would be thankful to you. I know you are not married. I know many of you are not married. But the children who are going to be born, the lady with whom you are going to marry or the gentleman with whom you are going to marry. I mean, it's going to be a great favor for that lady. Imagine you're having your good life, having your honeymoons in Canada, Australia and all that stuff, right? So it's up to you. Otherwise, you can just go in Pakistan like people go for go to Marie for their honeymoon. In India, people go to Pune and others areas for their honeymoon and all that. So it's all up to you. Think about that. Always keep end in mind and that will give you increased motivation to go through your IELTS test. Once your test is over, don't forget to send me a detailed message about your test, what happened in the test. First your name, your city, your center, IDP or British Council. Then in listening, section 1, type of questions and then the uh, topic of the audio, section 2, 3, uh, 4 and then reading, section 1, topic of the passage and then the question types and then uh, writing, task 1, task 2, send me all the detail and I'll make a video with your name and I'll dedicate that video to you. Again, I'm telling you guys, believe me, I'm serious this time. I'm serious this time. This 13th June IELTS test is going to be the last IELTS test for many of you. 
after that you are going to submit your result get admission get the visa and then one day a lot of people will come to your house you know why because they will say sada munda bar challe aaye sadi kudi bar challi hai our son is going abroad our daughter is going abroad and all that okay and then you will see a final goodbye to all the things and a new start i mean you are going to be born once again when you go to your destination country it's going to be your second birth i mean you lived some part of your life in your native country and now after ielts you are going to go to another country and there is going to be your second birth and you're going to enjoy the rest of your life you know we call interval before interval over here after interval over there okay thank you very much asad yakub which is you all the best and dear sara pyar aap sab logon ke liye lots of love for all of you right all my students in pakistan aap sab logon ke liye bahut bahut nek tamannae my students in india shubh kamnae my students in indian punjab tuhada pala hoye tuhadi khair hoye tuhade te meher hoye rab ji tuhanu chardi kala ch rakhan and my students elsewhere in bangladesh sri lanka nepal all the best thank you take care bye bye